you know, fighters that you're used to coming forward and being aggressive like that usually can't fight going backwards. Nice right hands connecting here for Toriano Johnson, then a left hook. Plenty of reason to be optimistic from Andre, Andre Rogier, who you could hear said, listen, Munguia basically shot his shot in that round. He's tired. We can grind this guy out. And grind him down going forward. Pushing Munguia back. That Munguia's not used to going back either. Both these guys aren't used to going back. Toronto Johnson trying to switch southpaw here. Well, he's been doing that since round one. But like I said, Todd, with a style like Toriano Johnson, it doesn't matter if he's southpaw or orthodox. He's getting the same punches thrown from the same directions and the same angles. Back to orthodox. No jabs from Munguia right now. There we go. I'll stab him in the chest. Those punches right there, even if it's just to the chest or, or the solar plexus, they're really they're damaging, especially for an older fighter. Make make Tyriano Johnson use his legs also. Coming forward, going backwards, move laterally. Make the older fighter feel old. Oh, good uppercut again. That's the punch that Sergio has been calling for from Mugia, the right uppercut. Time! Time! That's a buck. That's a buck. Toriano Johnson cut badly from that left eye. Son, it's the doc, he's got a terrible cut on his lip. Yeah. Oh, his, his lip? lip? Oh, boy. Give me one more round. Try one more round. Oh, that is a nasty looking cut right oh. on the upper lip. Wow. Oh my God. Oh my. You want to give him? Let's give him the rest of the round. They're going to give him 20 seconds. What a shame if it ends that way. Johnson was fighting brilliantly. Box. And now is almost has a third lip on his face. We have not heard yet how it was scored. Was it a headbutt? Andre Rogier says it was. It was an accidental headbutt. We'll go to the scorecards. If we go to the scorecards, Johnson may well win this thing, although Munguia sensing some urgency. He might get that. He might understand. Oh, and a late punch there from Munguia. The referee apparently not going to warn him for it. And now let's see what the corner can do, if anything, to stop the bleeding and get this lip back together. I don't oh, think this nasty. fight continues. It's, and it's a shame because Johnson was doing well, maybe ahead on the scorecards, but with a cut like that on the lip, I just don't see them letting, allowing them to go, because he's bleeding that from his eye and his lip. Though. The lip's hanging. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen a cut on the lip that bad. It's not even a cut, Chris. And if I had, if I had to say whether it was a an elbow or a head, but I want to say it's a right uppercut that Mumugi has been landing. He just caught, he he caught Johnson cleanly on that lip and that side of the mouth. And they have stopped it, I believe. No, they should stop it. But how are they scoring it? We're not ringside, of course. But how are they scoring the stoppage? Are they saying it was a headbutt or are they saying it was a punch? If it was a punch, that's it's, a stoppage. Yeah, it's a TKO win. Boy, that is incredible. Just in time for Halloween. Well, kudos to Johnson, who was fighting his fight, Sergio. Let me have you play Nostradamus here. If that continued for 12 rounds, who's going to win that fight? If that continued for 12 rounds, we expected what we were going to get, and that's two big middleweights and it was going to be a battle of attrition i think the the momentum started switching to johnson's uh, on johnson's corner i mean it was such a back and forth fight it's just a shame it ended this way but look it, it's that right oh you could see the blood shooting off the face of johnson it was the right uppercut from mugia that busted his lip wide open look at this boom if that's the case that's a knockout win for jaime mugia and I told you it was it was going to be between the right uppercut of Munguia and the right chopping right hand of Tyriano Johnson. We see that Munguia's right oh. uppercut. Too much damage right there. And if you've ever wondered how hard Munguia can hit, 
He just exploded Johnson's face with a right uppercut. And if you wondered if Mungia can punch going backwards, stepping backwards, we just found that out as well. And Tom, they, they are scoring this as a punch, and it'll be a TKO or a KO for Jaime Mungia. So a knockout win for Jaime Mungia, certainly not the way he wanted to win it, you would think, but he does improve to 36-0 with now 29 knockouts. Johnson will go home tonight and feel very bad and, and wonder what might have been because his game plan appeared to be working. His game plan was about to start working. It's a shame because Andre Rozier, I'm sure they had, they had a strategy going into the middle rounds and it, it, it seemed like they were doing exactly what they prepared for. But credit to Munguia because Munguia did some things that I didn't think he had in his arsenal, like punching backwards and stepping back and landing that right uppercut that ultimately ended the fight. Let's send it now to Joe Martinez for the official particulars. Ladies and gentlemen, at the end of round number six, referee Raul Calle Sr. calls a halt to this bout, declaring your winner by KO victory. He is still undefeated and still WBO Intercontinental Middleweight Champion, Jaime Mugia! Well, how would you rate his performance, Sergio? I, I saw some things that, that I can see the young man doing differently, and, and, and for that, I applaud him. I can see the differences uh, that Eric Morales has had, had in him, like boxing backwards, stepping back, landing that right uppercut. Once he found a home for that right uppercut, this, the, the tide of the fight changed. Johnson's aggression started working against him, and just when it seemed that Johnson was losing his legs, he was having some success. It's a shame for Johnson it ended this way, but ultimately, I did see some big changes on Jaime Mugia's part.